We're going to check out Tyler Linderbaum Center from Iowa or out of Iowa. Uh, widely thought of as the, the best center prospect in this class, the 2022 draft class. Uh, a lot of people have him going very high, uh, some as high as the top 15. Um, I watched two games. This is very much a snapshot uh, in terms of my perspective on him. The things that I like about him jump out pretty immediately. Uh, he does have unusual uh, and high-level movement skills, uh, consistently firing out of his stance and engaging first across the line. Uh, they routinely ask him or regularly ask him to work across gaps uh, and he's athletic enough to, to access uh, and successfully reach the three tech. Uh, that's pretty routine for him. That's a, so pretty unusual uh, athleticism. He's quick uh, to attack second level, level defenders coming off uh, combination blocks. Uh, tenacious blocker goes through the whistle as they say and take the, the uh, defender to the ground. A negative and I do think it's considerable is that he, he must get stronger. Um, was overwhelmed uh, by power or strength across from him in both the games that I watched at times. Tough block they ask him to make. He, he makes it look pretty easy. Uh, they're going to climb the left guard as if he's uncovered, but he does have a shade inside, and they're going to ask Tyler after snapping the football to come across and reach and seal this defender. This guy works inside, so that makes it a little tougher. Uh, but he's got great athleticism, able to flip his hips here. They run right off his backside for a big game. And watch him after the play. Watch how he stays on that block. Watch that again. Um, we'll slow that down. There's the reach. They run right off of him. And this guy's going to still try to get off this block. He stays attached to him. He's got both hands inside. Really does a good job driving, driving, driving. You can see he's fast, athletic off the ball. Um, pretty tenacious. Pretty tough block, but it's one that the Ravens ask their centers to make to go out and get this three tech as they pull the left guard. You can see he really fires off the football. This guy's just getting out of his stance. So after he snaps the football, and this is a, a routine for him. He's off the ball very, very quickly. You see that outside arm uh, to the peck of the defender. Cannot see his inside arm. But again, very tough block. He can't let this defender come across, spike inside. Uh, and this, again, looks pretty easy for him. Does a good job here, even though he gets rocked a little bit. Um, staying attached here, ultimately kind of driving downfield once again. Uh, the, the pull isn't a very good one. The play gets blown up, but he is making a tough block there. This is a play that will really uh, grab your eye. Um, he's responsible for getting enough on this double team along with the uh, right guard here of this shade. Uh, so that they can turn, run behind the fullback lead here. Um, but he's also responsible for his, this backside gap, and the will does shoot that gap. Watch him break off that double team, grab enough of, of that uh, defender. A nice little piece of running uh, by the back. Watch that again. Should be mentioned how good he is in space, how good he is in the screen game. Um, really athletic mover, natural too. You can see that here. Um, he's going to come all the way across, grab this three tech, and then continue to drive him. And watch how easy he moves. You know, has that skill position look to the way he runs in space, continues to drive that defender downfield. Watch it again. point out something else that he's very very good at uh, and you see him do it a lot which is time up these combination blocks again you see him fire off the football this is versus Maryland get a really good push downfield on this double team and then attach to the second level he's really good at that again very athletic out of his stance has a good feel for when to climb and then really really quick in attaching second level watch it again
This is the first play that sort of gave me pause uh, about him in pass protection uh, that I watched versus Purdue. You see him one-on-one -on -one here with the nose, getting uh, pushed around a little bit. Um, he's probably coached here to get that his left arm inside here to the pec, right arm or outside arm to the bicep. And if you watch their arms, it looks like the, the nose has his arm, uh, his right arm right at the top of his pads. And this is just a straight bull rush, rush where he's unable to kind of reset, do that hop reset thing. And he does make an effort here to get that arm underneath and back inside, but he's just getting overpowered. He does a decent job at least staying attached to the defender here. But you can see at the end, he kind of gets ragdolled to the side. Um, and it occurred to me in watching this that it was just one play, but you do see him have issues in this, this game uh, with that defender in particular, and you do see some issues versus Maryland as well. Uh, again, those are the only two games I watched, so uh, I need to watch more. I think this play is, is an example perhaps of him struggling a little bit, not just with strength, but length. Uh, I haven't seen his measurements or anything like that. I don't know, but know the uh, arm length of the guy across from him. But you can see he loses the hand battle very, very early here, and then he gets overpowered. The defender does a good job kind of grabbing the wrist, pinning the wrist, and then just stronger than him, just throwing him back into the, to the, to the chest of the quarterback, not the lap. Uh, you can see the right tackle is beaten very badly, but there's just nowhere to step up here. Trying to reset, trying to reset, and he's just getting overpowered. Watch that again. I'm a little surprised at, at just based on the things that people talk about or that I've heard said about him that I see a, him struggle uh, this way in pass protection versus Purdue and Maryland. You can see he has a real problem with strength across from him. Pretty tenacious in, in, in his ability to stay attached there, but twice you see his outside arm get knocked off. The defender gets his hands, or at least his inside arm, into his chest. Um throws out his throws off his outside arm twice and then swims him here. As I said a couple times, I've only watched two games. I'm going to watch some more on him. I'll hopefully do another video, maybe a couple videos on him. Uh, the Ravens are in dire need um, just w on the on the offensive line obviously. Uh, he seems to me a, a perfect fit uh, for a team that runs zone, inside-outside zone, particularly the wide stuff, stretch stuff. He'd be exceptional. I didn't do a great job of showing him or show any uh, clips of him out in space, particularly. He's great out in space. He needs to get bigger. He needs to get stronger. That's true of a lot of offensive linemen coming out. Uh, but he's a first-round selection, uh, and that uh, the pass protection stuff, uh, at least in these two games, did give me pause.